Get this little cold start going. to our day but it's just been so hot I haven't really been driving the car like during the day I usually take it out at night after like 6 p.m. because like it's 90 degrees man I mean I like the heat but at the same time I don't really like driving the car when it's like so hot especially I got to get in that kind of habit of doing that because we're about to boost this car so don't really want to be ripping on it when it gets too hot but for this video we're gonna be talking about the top five first mods you should do to any 99 to 04 new ads Mustang GT, man. Now, I understand. I did buy this car used, obviously, and there's some work done to it, but I'll be talking about all the things that I would do to this car if I were to buy it brand new, 100% stock, absolutely nothing done. So you guys enjoy the video? And want to stay up to date with any and all the content that I do post on this channel because things are about to get pretty interesting. We're about to boost this car with a Vortex supercharger and uh, start kind of getting back into the race scene. Make sure you guys drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn those post notifications. Let's get right into it. The one nice thing about having these tinted windows is like I kind of have more privacy. <laughs> when I record these like POV bits because you really can't see what's on my head looking directly in front of me. So if I'm like at a stop sign or like a stoplight, you really can't tell that I got a GoPro on my head, which is super, super nice. Uh, it's been so long since like, I've heard the exhaust on this car. Like it's super loud. pulling up to a, a different spot hopefully I can actually get into this area because I've been trying to like find like some spots that I can record these videos while I'm still living in uh, Illinois because the area that I'm in right now I mean there there's decent spots to record but at the same time it's just like they're either crawling with cops or like everything's like blocked off so hopefully this spot isn't blocked off and it's not crawling with cops because either or I mean, I'm not gonna pull up in there, obviously. Not gonna attract too much attention to myself, but I guess that's the price you pay when you, you know, start making car videos, you buy a loud exhaust. I mean, you kind of gotta crawl the car in neutral. <laughs> that's the thing about mustangs or that maybe that's just me in general that's just kind of 
I'm just like learning, you know, every day the type of car person I am and like the type of, uh, I guess the type of car and vehicle that I, I enjoy to drive and like how I enjoy building up cars. And ever since I like, started the YouTube channel, especially this YouTube channel, and even after, you know, buying this Mustang, I've been really realizing like the type of person um, I am as far as cars go and like how I like to build my cars and stuff. Again, like I don't even shift this car past like 35 and like I have a blast. Oh, people are looking at me now. Thank God the windows are tinted and I have a blast driving this car, man. Privacy mode. <laughs> I love these windows, bro. Privacy mode, it's like recording behind like a closed door. It's awesome. That's exactly why I got these windows tinted, bro. It's so good. It's like, a, it's like at home, like I'm recording a COD video. Close the door, I'm in my own zone. For the car content, I can just roll my windows up. I'm in my own zone, love it. Yeah, but like I was saying, man, like I, I literally like, I never shift this car like past like 35. Like I literally just cruise this car. I maybe have done a couple pulls. The only time I do pulls is literally I, when I did like the first reaction with the exhaust. Other than that, like I just, I just love cruising this car. I think that's the thing about new edges. And maybe that's just the thing about V8s, at least for me right now. I don't even care to rip the cars and go fast. I just like to cruise these cars. And that's something that like, I just, I never got the, I never, I never did in the, in the FRS, it's, it's weird, like I, you can't really cruise an FRS, you gotta be taking that car and ripping it like 110%, this car, I just cruise it, and just chill. Alright, so we finally made it to the spot, unfortunately we didn't get all the way up to the tippy top of this spot as you guys can see here but I think this is actually a pretty good this is a damn good spot honestly you could host a car meet here I'm obviously not going to drop the location because this will completely pop this for the video but man this ain't bad so for this video we're going to be talking about the top 5 mods to do on any 99 to 04 New Edge Mustang GT now these are gonna be my honest opinions on what I think you guys should do first and what I think you guys should buy as far as the top five mods and obviously in the order in which you can pick them up to enhance you know, your love for the car and to kind of enhance the whole drivability of this platform. So since we're at the rear end, obviously, the first modification I suggest any 99 to 04 New Edge Mustang GT owner to do is to change the cat back exhaust now because these cars are aging they're about 20 years old depending on what you guys get odds are the exhaust you have is not oem now i recommend you guys going ahead and getting any type of cat back exhaust you guys want i personally have the borla attack i think they are the perfect volume very very minimal drone and it just really wakes up the car, especially if you decide to go and get a full exhaust down the line like I do right now. I have BBK shorty headers as well as a JBA Catless X-Pipe and I love the way the car sounds. There's very minimal rasp and I think it sounds pretty damn good. A lot of you guys enjoyed the exhaust video and can't really blame you. I think the car sounds fantastic with the Borla Attack. Now, if I were to buy this car again bone stock, let's say I had a clean slate, I would actually go ahead and swap out the shorty headers for long tubes, but the previous owner had the shorty headers on the car, so we're gonna rock with those for the time being and then swap out the long tubes down the line. But I feel that any catback exhaust, Borla Attack, Borla S-types, Magnaflow, SOP, could get the job done for this car. Keep that, you know, 
loud, deep tone the two valves have. A lot of people love the two valves for. And just overall wake this car up. Now, my number two, I think you guys should definitely go ahead and do to your 99 to 04 New Edge. And this is gonna be very important. I recommend you guys going ahead and going to the interior of your car. And depending on what you guys have done, I think a very important modification is going to change the OEM shifter to any type of short throw shifter to kind of shorten up the throws. And I'm also gonna tie into getting an aftermarket shift knob or rocking with the stock OEM shift knob. I actually had an aftermarket knob on the car when I first bought it, and I went back to an OEM shift knob because I personally like the way it feels. It's a really good grip. You could shift it in multiple different ways. And the short shifter that I have is the Stita Tri-Ax short shifter. Very, very tight, very, very mechanic, and overall a great feel. Now, I do recommend you guys actually getting an MGW short throw shifter if you guys have not already upgraded your shifter from OEM. I think the Stita Triax or the MGW short shifter would be a great there we go. Would be a great addition to your vehicle. Now I'm actually gonna be going ahead and swapping out my short shifter, the Stita Triax for a MGW short throw shifter down the line. But for right now, it's getting the job done and it is a huge upgrade from stock. Now, the third modification, I don't know why I did one, the third modification that you guys should do if you guys are a 9904 New Edge owner is we're gonna go over to the fitment section. I know fitment is huge for some people. Not really huge on me. I just like to kind of have my car, you know, have good function over just the fitment, but I recommend any of you guys to get, a, get yourself a good quality set of lowering springs or a good quality set of coilovers to drop your ride potentially an inch or an inch and a half. Not only to fill up that, or to kind of reduce that wheel gap, but to kind of increase the handling of your car around turns and just overall just make the car look a little bit more aggressive. Now what I'm rocking right now, so I actually have on, I you guys can see it, you guys probably can't, it's too dark. Yeah, you guys can't really see it, maybe you can, oh yes you can. Roush, right there. I have the Roush OEM lowering springs, which dropped this car about an inch. Now, unfortunately, I don't make Ross flooring screens anymore for the new edges, so I recommend you guys going ahead and getting yourself an IBOC lowering spring kit to drop your ride about an inch and a half all the way around to kind of make this car look a little bit more aggressive than it already does. I think a lot of you guys will enjoy the way your car looks and also enjoy the way the car feels with those lowering springs. I know I like it, and if I didn't have this done when I bought the car, I 100% would have got it done immediately within the first month of ownership, 110%. Now, the fourth modification I recommend any of you guys going ahead and doing when modifying Ooh when modifying, this whole place is about to crash down. <laughs> when mod, I mean, I say that's not even funny to say. When modifying your 99 to 04 New Edge is to go ahead and swap out your OEM wheels and tires if you guys have not already. You can get yourself an aftermarket set of wheels and tires. Now, like every other 99 to 04 New Edge Mustang owner, I have myself a set of Rovos Durbin 18 by 10s by 18 by nine wheels. Before the comment section explodes, these around the car when I did buy them. Do I think these wheels look good? Honestly, I think they do look good, especially on a white new edge and look good on a majority of new edges. Would I buy these? 
if I was just, you know, looking for my first set of wheels or maybe trying to uh, change up the wheels that were already on a car what I, that I've already bought. Maybe. But that's besides the point. They 100% look better than stock if you don't have a Cobra or Mach 1. So I recommend you guys going ahead and swapping out for bigger wheels and tires. And for the tires, I have on some Federal RSRRs. I believe this is what these are called. Yep, Federal RSRRs, which are Toyo R888 knockoffs. Do not recommend these wheels. Again, these wheels were already on the car when I bought them. Recommend you guys getting yourself some Michelin Pilot Sport Thrusters for the front and some Mickey Thompson ET Street SS's for the rears to keep your new webs planted because spinning ain't winning. But damn, is it fun to blow these tires off. And if you guys are wondering, I am running a 265 40 18 in the rear, as well as a 245 40 18 in the front. Honestly, I like this look, but I do feel like I'm gonna be rocking kind of the same 245 40 18 in the front, and then for the rears, I'm rocking, I'm going to be rocking a 285 40 18 in the rear. Kind of add some more grip. Don't look that bad, honestly. Previous owner did a pretty damn good job. And now for our fifth and final modification, I recommend you guys going ahead and changing up your rear gears from the stock gear ratio and going ahead and getting yourself, if you guys are NA, a set of 410 gears to really wake this car up. If you guys are boosted or thinking about going boosted, go ahead and tell, go ahead and get yourself a set of 373 gears to increase the acceleration of your new Edge Mustang GT. I currently am rocking 410 gears. I love them. The car gets up and off the line very nicely. And I'm gonna see how they do play out with a supercharger within the next couple of weeks. And if it's too much, we're gonna go ahead and kinda downsize those gears and get some 373s so I can regain some top end and potentially not blow out the tires as much with that Vortex supercharger. These are gonna be the top five modifications you guys can make for any 99-04 New Edge Mustang GT in the order in which you guys should go ahead and pick them up. Spin your board Redline POV. Oh, I said Redline POV. Ears POV. And I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.